Okay, hello. I am Dr. Didier Barradas from the Cell Visualization Lab, and I am going to show you a couple of partitions that use the RAM memory inside of IPEX. And let's start. First of all, let's ask for a partition with SRAM. Well, that's going on. Let's have another slash here, but with S a lock. Okay. Now, S run, give me already a terminal inside of the of the node, of the compute node. If you see, it was in the login node, and because I asked with dash dash pty bash. Uh, terminal and then to log in inside of this computer now. If we do sq minus u user, you can see I am running two different jobs. One that is called interactive, which is the SLOC one, which is here. But if you see with SLOC, I do not have entered the compute node. So here I have to do SSH and enter the compute node, okay? Let's go to SRON. SRON is name is bash. Now, where I am? I am in my hub directory, yes. Let's create a demo folder. Okay, inside of the demo folder, let's do touch. Doge file.txt, and as you can see, it will be there. Now, switch to the allocation cd demo exist, and we can see that there's a file there. Nice and easy. Okay, let's clear this here. Now, if we do Doge, DMP, which is a partition that uses the memory to store files. You can store things like my file here, my file .txt. Okay. If we do ls, I have created a file called temp. Nice. So temp also has a similar conceptually speaking, a partition that is called dep shm. Now there, my file should also exist. Now, I am still in the compute node, right? Here, I am in a compute node, but remember, skew, Minus u user. I am in this session here. So can I access DMP, my file? My file.txt is not there. And then ls dep, dep is for device, hm, my file. Txt and is not there because it does doesn't correspond to this session. Okay, so if we go out of S run session, remember we still can see these two files here. But if we go out, then not that one. User. Now only as a lock is still running. Let's try to do again the S run. While that is happening, let's go to S a lock. In S a lock, we can do the same thing. Doge, and then let's do a file there, and Doge 
step A S H M. Okay. Let's clear this. Nice. And then let's log out from here. Okay. Now, if we go with SLOG, the path difference is that the job is still running. Nice. Now, let's go back to SRUN. Here in SRUN, I'm back into the login, into the compute node, which is another compute node. So, understand the reason that if I do this, the file doesn't exist. If I do this, the file doesn't exist because these files live in the RAM of the session. And now after the session was, was logged out and killed, it was gone. What can happen if we do the same, but with SLOC? Now, SSH, to the compute node. We're back. Now, let's see. DMP, my file is still on and dev device and add chain. My file is still there. This is because the session hasn't died. So the RAM memory attached to this job is still on. So here, it doesn't matter if I log out. Yes, you. As long as this is running, those, I can access those files. But here, even though, I might be there. I don't need to be in demo, but in demo, I can see that the file is here. But for the other two files, I cannot find them. We log out. My session is gone, and so my files also are gone. While here, we can go again inside. And we still find those files. So once this session is gone, I will not be access, I will not be able to access those files. However, it's very important for you to know where to put your files when you need, for example, to stash them in the RAM. Okay, thank you very much for listening.